What's, what's up my honey bunnies and welcome back to a new video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you're doing great. So today's video is a requested video. It is going to be a Target type of video again. So you know I love Target. Uh, it's either thrifty, Marshalls or Target where it's pretty much where I pick up my clothes from. As you can already see by the title, I am going to be trying some jeans from Target and trying them on for you, letting you know which ones are good, how they fit, my thoughts. I, I did I did the same video a couple months back where I did try out some shorts, denim shorts from Target and just, you know, kind of give you guys my thoughts, showed you how they fit on my body. And on that video, I did get a request from Raquel Morales. She requested for me to do that video but in a jean version so that is what i'm here to do i'm gonna go ahead and read her comment thank you so much for watching raquel and commenting on my video i really appreciate it um she says she says thank you for the video i would love a jean video like this i love watching your content and you are so relatable thank you so much that is so sweet i have the same issue when they fit but a little tight still on the top lining of the waist yes that is so annoying i don't understand why that happened I don't know if it's like the jeans fault like the way they make them or if it's just like my body because a lot of the jeans fit me so good like on my butt my thighs the length everything's great but they just kind of dig into my waist a little bit some of them dig in there without like being uncomfortable but some of them do hurt where like at the end of the day it just leaves like a red line and it kind of like irritates my skin because it's just you know rubbing back and forth so it is a big issue i don't know how to fix it <laughs> i try to get bigger sizes and that still happens to me so i don't understand but thank you so much for the request i am here to do that video for you and everybody else who's interested to see what target has right now pick these up from the store like in store i didn't get these online but they do have these online as well so I'm gonna go ahead and try all of these on let you know how I like them and show you of course what they look like and just kind of rate them from one to five of course this is just my first impressions this is my first time trying them on I haven't worn them for a long time to tell you if they're like worth it but we're just gonna see how they fit have wild fable and then i also have universal thread i do want to let you know just in case you didn't know wild fable is a juniors line so keep in mind that sometimes you have to size up maybe once or twice depending on the way they fit you but i usually do size up twice or two sizes up with wild fable and depending also it also it also depends on how much stretch they have sometimes they have so much stretch that i can stay around like the eight you know size 8 maybe 10 but that's usually what i get size 8 or 10 from wild fable so i do have two pairs from wild fable let's start off with this one right here this one is their highest rise mom jean in the size i got it i got it in the size 8 which is a 29 waist and this is supposed to this one retails for 22 dollars, which is a great deal uh this is the wash of it it's kind of like a lighter wash it seems like it's going to have a lot of stretch because it's very very stretchy let's see the amount of stretch it has so it's 99 percent cotton and one percent spandex so i don't know it feels like it's more than one percent i mean that's really stretchy um, obviously these are high-waisted it does have a little bit of distressing on the knees so it just kind of has these little cuts on the knees and that's pretty much it on the distressing the hem is still there it's not a raw hem and just has a little bit of like distressing just minimal stuff like on the pockets very very minimal nothing super distressed so we're gonna try these on we're gonna hope and cross our fingers that it fits me because these look super super cute um so, uh, they went up really really smoothly i didn't have to like tug and pull to get up there um they feel really good i haven't button them i don't know if i mentioned it but it does have a button and zipper so it's not like oh okay yeah they're kind of tight um they're not like a button fly right here you can see that it does have a little bit of like a little bit of a roll so it kind of digs in a little bit so although they are a little bit tight and i did kind of struggle to button it and zip it up they don't feel like restricting or uncomfortable. I actually really like the way they fit on, on the bottom, like where the crotch area is at. It doesn't have like a lot of like tightness. It seems like it's nice and comfortable. There's a little bit of like area or like 
room right there which is great so i also really like the length of these jeans so obviously again this is my first time trying them on but so far they feel really comfortable there's room on my butt there's room on the crotch area the only issue with this one is that it is kind of digging into my waist but again it's not uncomfortable there's some jeans that do dig in there and it's kind of painful because it's like so tight it's just like cutting you in there it's not comfortable i might keep these uh so far i would give these a four because i like the length i like the style they're high-waisted they don't fit super tight they seem like a jean that they would relax a little bit throughout the day because it does have a little bit of stretch so i can see these kind of like loosening up a little bit after a few hours but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and try the next ones but again these i give a four so my next Wild Fable pair is a black one. This one is called the Highest Rise Straight. So the other ones were Highest Rise Mom jeans, and this is just the straight. This one up in a size eight, which is a 29 waist. Also $22, which is a great deal. This one, this one does have the button fly instead of the button and zipper, but it does seem like it's gonna be very high-waisted. Also 1% spandex and the rest cotton. It's very, very stretchy. I really like the color of them. They are kind of like a faded black, uh, but these do have way more distressing than the first pair, also by the knee. Uh, the knee had just like a little rip across the knee. This one has like more distressing. So I will show you, I don't know if the camera can catch it, but the distressing is much bigger, but it's not a hole. Like the first pair, it was like a strip that was exposed. This one is just kind of like distressing, but you can still see some fabric in there, if that makes any sense. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try these on. These do have the raw hem, so it's kind of distressed and if that's what you like then these are gonna be cute but if not then maybe pass on them but we're gonna see how they fit oh yeah so these um okay so these have way more room on the leg they feel like they're more wider than the other ones the other ones do kind of taper a little bit these are just wide all the way straight i wouldn't consider them like wide leg jeans but they do have more room Okay, they went up really, really smoothly as well, but I feel like I'm gonna have the same problem as the other ones where I was kind of like struggling to button it. Yeah, just a little bit. Wow, these are, I feel like these are way more high-waisted. I feel like they're right under my rib cage. I'm out of breath <laughs> already. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the other camera so you can see what they look like on. I like the way they fit. I love that they're super high-waisted. Also, as you can see right here, it does have a little bit of like digging in there. Creates a little tiny, little tiny roll. I mean, it's not a big deal, but um, because they do have a lot of stretch, I do feel like they are gonna stretch out a little bit more throughout the day. Uh, but they look super cute. Love, love that they're a little bit more fitted at the hip and thigh and they are more relaxed on the leg. All right, so I really, I'm, I'm really liking this style right here because it is more on the baggier side on the like hip and leg. So they do look more baggy down there, but they are fitted on the hip and thigh. Even though they are a little bit tighter and kind of digs into my waist, they're not uncomfortable. I feel like if I were to go for a 10, they would fit really, really baggy on like, you know, the midsection and the butt. So I kind of want to stick with these and see how it goes. But I'm really, really loving these so far. I would probably have to give these a 4.5 because I love the style. Another, another thing I want to mention is that I'm only 5'2", so I'm very short. So the length of these are just perfect. So if you are taller, just keep that in mind that they might fit you like a crop style type of jean because like I said, I'm very short and they're just like at the perfect length. So yeah, so these are 4.5. So we're on a roll with these high ratings with these jeans, but we're going to keep trying with the other uh, brand, which is Universal Thread. All right, so I feel, okay, so I feel really good because those two jeans are really great they fit really nicely and i feel like we're on a roll i mean those are pretty high ratings for those two jeans so we're going to move on to universal thread so these are the high rise straight these are the fitted hip they are fitted hip and thigh and straight leg and they do have the vintage stretch i got i got this style in two different sizes i got a 10 and an 8 just because i couldn't decide i felt like 8 might have been too small and then 10 maybe too big. So we're gonna see how they fit. Pair, uh, for this pair, there is distressing 
on the knee as well on both sides uh, this type of distressing I'm not a big fan of because like only only because the jean is so dark and then the distressing is quite light and it's kind of like a greenish white it's not even like a white white so I'm not really digging this little look right here but we'll see how it fits I don't know if I mentioned it but it is the high-rise straight and it's the slim straight uh, so we'll see how these fit I'm putting on the size 8 first and we'll see how it goes yeah they are a little tight I'm gonna have to kind of suck it in so I can button it up <laughs> All right, so they are a little bit tight, um, out of breath again, <laughs> uh, but they don't look super tight and they don't feel uncomfortable. I do have this same style, but in the short version in the same size, and I can tell you that it does stretch out throughout the days. Um, but this is what it looks like. They're not super high-waisted like the ones from Wild Fable are. These kind of just fit right above my belly button. The other ones go up to like my rib cage, which is big difference um but yeah these fit quite nice the only thing i don't like is the distressing on the knee i wish they did it come with that but other than that they feel really nice okay so my thoughts on this style from universal thread i do like it i like the way it fits the size eight i did struggle and i had to like suck it in to be able to button it and zip it up I did try the size 10, which is the one I'm wearing right now, and these, um, this pair, this pair does give me a little bit more room, and I don't have to suck it in and kind of struggle to button it and zip it up. But they fit very similar. It doesn't really seem like there's a big difference, besides the fact that I can put them up and button them a little bit better and easier than the size eight. I was expecting them to fit a little bit more loose on the butt and the crotch area or like the waist area, but they fit very similar. If this didn't have any distressing, it would probably be a five for me because they fit great. They look great. I love the wash. I like the style. It's just a distressing that I don't like. So I think I'm going to have to give it a four because I don't like the distressing at all. This is the exact same style that I just tried in a size 10 and 8 in the um, darker wash, but this is in a black denim. No distressing, no whiskering, no raw hem. It's just like a plain black high-waisted pair of jeans. I did get in a size 8, and again, it is the vintage stretch, the slim straight, uh, high rise straight, fitted hip and thigh, straight leg, vintage straight. So that is all the information. Again, these are $29.99, just like the other ones were. All right, so these, okay, so these went up pretty good, but again, they're a size eight, so I know I'm gonna have to probably um, suck it in a little bit so I can, oh, I feel like these fit a little bit tighter than the dark wash pair. All right, so this is what they look like. Um, Again, it digs into my waist a little bit, just like the other one, creates a little roll. Um, other than that, it fits really good on the butt, the thigh. All right, so I am so out of breath and I'm tired of trying all these jeans, but yeah, these, I think I'm gonna have to return. Um, for some reason, they fit a little bit tighter, like right in that seam, like that top seam of the waist. It's digging into my waist and it's kind of hurting. Uh, the darker wash, same style, same size. I feel like they fit much better, that top lining or that like that top hem, I don't know what it's called, but that very just top part of the waist, it fit much better than this one. Such a bummer because everything else fits perfectly, the length, the hips, the butt, the thighs, it just fits great. I love the color, I love that there's no distressing, but it's the fact that they're kind of tight on the waist and it digs in there and it's just so annoying, but I think I'm gonna have to return these. If I find a 10, maybe I get it. I would probably give these like a three because they do fit uncomfortable on the waist. Anyway, moving on to my last pair of jeans. From Universal Thread, this is the Smooth and Sculpts uh, line, I guess. It's a skinny size 10 regular. Uh, it's high rise, skinny, fitted hip and thigh, slim leg, and it's smooth and sculpts your body, I guess. And yeah, there's really not a lot of distressing besides the knee, just like a tiny bit right here. And then on the other side, it's just more minimal. Uh, this one is also 
$30, $29.99. So, so good. Just like went right up, no problems. I don't have to suck it in to button it or zip it up. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of room in this one. So these fit really nice and comfortable. There's a lot of space that we can see. I have a camera down there to show you. But yeah, there's a lot of space in this one. A lot of space on like the crotch area. It does seem a little bit more loose. Uh, because these are regular, they are a little bit longer on me. So I would probably have to fold them, roll them up, or either cut them because... Other than that, they do fit me a little bit long because I feel like these are just a little too loose. Uh, and because they are very stretchy, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna stretch out a little bit more throughout the day. Uh, another thing is that these are a little bit longer because they are size regular in length. So I'm usually a short. <laughs> so I would have to cut them a little bit or roll them up. Uh, but yeah, these are gonna be maybe like a four for me because they are very comfortable and very cute. It's just a little too loose. Uh, so I feel like Goldilocks, you know what I mean? Like it's too loose, too tight. I need something just right. <laughs> I also asked my wife for her opinion on the jeans that I just tried on. Went ahead and showed her and she said, that they are a little unflattering on the crotch area because there's a lot of room and I I totally agree with her even though they're very comfortable I don't think I'm gonna keep them because they're just they just don't look right so for sure I am returning the universal thread size 10 high-rise skinny because it just wasn't flattering me um, and wifey agreed so I'm just going to go ahead and return them. All right, all right, my honey bunny. So that is it for this video. I hope that you found it helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.